Hey guys and welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So we have seen how we could do different types of attacks through trojans and backdoors, how we could create different viruses through our payloads through Kali Linux and attack the target system. But just sometimes social engineering fails. Not most of the time, most of the time, 70% of the time the social engineering will work but it will sometimes there are chances that it may not work and let's say for example if the person is smart enough and you send him some kind of let's say for example a PDF file with a Trojan in that so he will uh, he may there are chances that he may or he may not he may not run that because let's say for example he may doubt that this is something or if he, he has a good kind of antivirus then the program may not even allow it to run so there are chances where uh, Trojans may not work if they are not encrypted properly so at that point of time this kind of attack comes in which I will be teaching you today and this is called as Java applet attack method so what this does exactly is that whenever you go ahead and open your Chrome, if you go ahead and let's say for example you try to run different kind of websites, it will ask you to go ahead and install Java uh, sometime. Uh, so let's say for example, I don't know whether in my system it's installed or not. Let me go ahead and check the keypad website and okay so if I want to download something over here as you can see Java applet renewed it's giving me this uh, specific thing over there. that means Java is installed so I'll just go ahead and in on this Java and I'll just go ahead and refresh it let's see if it asks me the to install the plugin or something if I have not installed Java then it, uh, this uh, yeah first thing is that if uh, your target has not installed Java this will not work or it will ask you to go ahead and install Java and then come back later on this website but if he has Java already then it's not a concern most of the people already have this Java installed because it's needed for most of uh, the application right like playing uh, flash videos or playing videos on YouTube or downloading one or the other thing so Java is a very common software that most people have and uh, if uh, they don't have Java then they will probably get uh, install uh, Java error I'll just go ahead and show you how this that looks like exactly this will be the error that they would be getting that the uh, Java was not installed or something and they will ask you to go and install Java so what I would be doing is that I would be going ahead and injecting my payload inside this Java error. So whenever the person uh, gets this error he will go ahead and click uh, continue let me show you install Java run so I would be getting uh, yeah perfect I'll just go ahead and open this so I'll be getting uh, an image some, uh, like this uh, in my uh, computer stating that the person is asking for you to go ahead and run this application and uh, as soon as the person clicks run most probably they will because they will not go uh, normal people don't go ahead and think up to that capacity that people will inject virus inside the Java or even uh, you may not be knowing till now that people normally go ahead and install uh, viruses or trojans inside Java so that's what we will be doing today so that the person will not be able to know he will as soon as he runs this uh, we will be injecting our payload inside his browser and until unless his browser is closed the, the Java will keep on continuing uh, to run and as well as our payload so but there is still a problem that as soon as the person closes his browser, the Java as well as our payload will stop. So today I would be showing you as to how we can actually go ahead and uh, run the Java uh, at one point of time and, uh, and I will be continuing that and I will showing you that how we could actually go ahead and prevent from our program to end even uh, if the browser window closes. So let's go ahead and start our Kali Linux to start with. And I'll open my target machine as well as the Kali Linux as well. And just hit enter and over here. Perfect. Last time I did yost this machine, that's why it was showing that error. So just ignore that. Okay, did start. Looks like my Windows has already started. I'll just go ahead and enter the password at this one, two, three, and over here I'll just go ahead and run this. Perfect. I already have this payload over here which I would probably not need. 
uh, let me check if our listener is uh, active okay never mind so let's see if we have chrome install okay we have chrome install and perfectly running I'll just start the chrome browser and now I'll just just go to the terminal and type se toolkit that is social engineering toolkit and hit enter select one because it is uh, it comes under social engineering attacks because we are actually fooling the person do something that we want that's why and after that I would be going ahead and let's check what else we have so I would normally go ahead and select two that's website attack vendors and after in the vec inside the vector we have our java applet attack method so I'll select one and I'll hit enter and this is the thing okay this is what my looks like so I'll just go back to my Cal Linux so I have three options over here one is the web template another one is the site cloner and the third one is the custom import so I'll go ahead and select the site cloner I'll press 2 and I'll hit enter so are you using NAT or port forwarding since I am inside Cal Linux I'll have to select yes if you are di directly on your machine then you can straight away go ahead and select no and IP address to set web server so normally have to go ahead and use my own IP address so I'll go ahead and select this I just copy it and I'll paste it over here it's your payload handler on a different IP from your external NAT port forward address no I'll just go ahead and hit enter okay I believe I need to enter something so I'll just select yes no different IP from your external NAT I believe so no let's check and select the option that you want uh, so over here you can go ahead and make your own self-signed certificate applet use one that is built in into SCT uh, or you can go ahead and have your own signing certificate I would be using the built-in one on the SCT so I'll just select 2 and I'll hit enter enter the URL to clone so I'll probably go ahead and use uh, the gmail one so I'll just go ahead and select gmail okay did not start the new tab gmail I'll just copy this and I'll paste it over here so this would be going ahead and cloning this website so what I need to do is that I need to go ahead and forward my IP address to that person and as soon as he clicks on that link he will be getting something that uh, that he needs to go ahead and run this Java and uh, over here it's asking me which one do I want to run if I go ahead and select one it will go ahead and open the command prompt but I don't want a command prompt because I have my interpreter shell which can do much more than just command prompt so I'll just select two and I'll hit enter and I would be using a backdoor executable which is uh, quite good enough for me to go ahead and gain access to the root system port would be the same that's 443 and let the listener start while I'll while by that time I'll just go ahead and use my IP address okay so as you can see moving payload into the clothes side that means uh, the fake website that I created uh, I have moved this uh, my virus into that website so right now uh, let's say for example let me tell you what exactly is the difference between actually going ahead and phishing that person to open a payload which is inside a PDF or an MP3 or a difference between actually going ahead and do that. If I go ahead and uh, install a PDF or in sorry install a payload inside a PDF uh, I'll just go ahead and cancel this and if I go ahead and send that to that person okay let me check so if I go ahead and do that, <coughs> what would normally happen is that uh, if the person does not have Adobe to install, he will not be able to run that PDF file and I won't be able to open anything. So over here, 
I need to make sure that uh, even if the person does not have the Adobe Reader installed, he should be able to run. That's why I'm going ahead and asking him to run this website. So I would go ahead and send this to via email or through Facebook or something like that. Oh my god, see this video or see this image or something. And I'll go ahead and paste it over here. Um, not this. Just copy it and out. Okay, as you can see this site uses a Java plugin that will be soon be unsupported. Okay, let's see what error it's giving me. As you can see, it's giving me uh, this uh, error that whether I want to run this application, normal person will simply go ahead and click on run. And as soon as they click on run, they will be redirected to the original website. So normal person will not able be able to understand exactly what happened. Okay, I just click the run and I have my email ID. I can surely go ahead and log in. But what they don't know is that I have my meterpreter session open over here. As you can see, uh, I have sent my stage uh, to that specific website and my session has been opened. So I'll just go ahead and select sessions one L and I'll select I and one and my session has started. Okay, I believe multiple sessions were opened. Okay, perfect. So, but there is a catch to this uh, specific uh, error. If I go ahead and close this thing, I'll show you what happens exactly. As you can see, my if I go ahead and type something over here, let's say ls, it will still work. The reason being that even though my meter per session was uh, closed, there is still the Chrome still runs in the background, and that's why my uh, thing is running. But if the person comes and sees in his, uh, for some reason, if he goes ahead and opens his task manager, he will see that uh, so many command lines and so many PowerShell are still running. So he will probably try to go ahead and run everything, uh, go ahead and close everything over here. So if he goes and closes each and every other thing, I will probably, okay, as you can see, my interpreter session has died. So uh, I'll just go ahead and check. I sessions L, okay. I still have my few other sessions running because uh, uh, that specific uh, Java applet attack method opened multiple sessions. So I'll just go ahead and background this and let's see how much sessions I have open. I have four sessions open over here. So if the person goes ahead and closes all these PowerShell, my session will directly get closed. But I don't want that to happen. So what I would do is that I will go ahead and open either of my sessions. Let's say for example one. And I will go ahead and see, I'll just type PS to see all the PIDs that are running. So I, as you can see, I have whatever it's running over here. I can see all of these things over here. So I'll migrate my virus to something else. So let's see the PID of explorer.exe. I'll migrate myself to that. So it's 2324. So I'll just type migrate 2324 and I'll hit enter. Let's see if I'm able to successfully migrate. Perfect. Now, even if the person goes ahead and closes each and everything over here, I'll still be able to keep my access to that no matter what happens because I have migrated myself from the browser to the normal uh, normal application and now I have gone ahead and closed that uh, or I have migrated myself to the explorer. So until unless the uh, explorer.exe is closed, my session will still be running. I'll go ahead and show you that. I'll go ahead and close all the command prompts and... I'll get a few sessions died, but my session, uh, original session is still running. I'll still go ahead and close all the, okay, perfect. Everything else is closed. I'll even go ahead and close the Java update scheduler. So as you can see, I have uh, session two and session four closed. I'll hit enter, but as you can see, I have still this uh, specific meter meter still running. If I go ahead and uh, make it on the background, you can see that uh, session one is still running and all others would be dead. So, but if the person is smart enough, which probably normally no people are, but if he goes ahead and closes his explorer, but he will not have any kind of doubt that uh, it, it will actually have migrated to his explorer. But if he goes ahead and closes that, our meter meter session will close and we won't be able to do anything after that. So, but normally uh, the person will not be able to go ahead and go ahead to this much uh, level and, and he will normally go ahead and not close the explorer, which is actually a benefit for us. So yes, that is it for this tutorial guys. And in the next uh, tutorial, I'll be starting with the man in the middle attack or the monkey in the middle attack. Till then, have fun.